Presenting Adobe Digital Editions in the Ubuntu Network Edition by Computer Fanboy. Hello guys, Computer Fanboy here, and I'm finally back. Just been busy with school, but now that school's over, I will be making plenty of more videos. Okay, so, the first thing I want to show you, which has helped me throughout school, and if you like to read, I think a lot of people would appreciate this app. It's actually made by Adobe. It's called Adobe Digi Digital Editions. And you can import your PDFs and other files. I'm not sure if it supports HTML, but I believe it does. So, I'm going to go to my home. This is all my library right here. Oh, look. Okay. So I have a bunch of books. Got rid of the school book, thankfully. Great Gatsby wasn't that great. <laughs> um, and basically, I can select the book. I can also add a new type of bookshelf name. However, in my case, let's say I want to click The War of the Worlds. So I just double click that, and it opens it up. Hopefully, faster than this. Normally, it would be, except I'm doing a lot of things here. Come on. By the way, Max, do freeze. Just letting you know, and you can see that from another video. Anyways, as you can see, I actually highlighted something, and you can do this within here. You can bookmark it. So, if I like this quotation from the book, I just click this, or I click add, or I could just easily click this up top as well. Type in good quotation, like I did before. Hit OK. So I just hit good quotation two, and it brings me there. Good quotation, good quotation two. And I'm definitely going to remove those because that's not where I was. By the way, you get this often on a Mac sometimes, and I know why, but I'm not going to disable something that allows me to access my drive and write to it so okay anyways you've got this you can do many things as well as view multiple pages you can view two pages like a regular book you would see unfortunately I wish I really wish they integrated the basically turn the page option that they did in iBooks and I hope Adobe will hear me out on this because that would be pretty cool However, to get to another page, you just click the down arrow. Or, it works good on the uh, trackpad of a MacBook Pro as well, if you do happen to have one. Or a, um, I think it's the Magic Mouse. So I can scroll down. And it works pretty well. My favorite view is this, however. Because I can see a big, large text. And I can scroll through it as well. And change the size so it works pretty well and that's all I have to say about this you can find you can pretty much view it like a PDF would or that's pretty much it you can print it out and that's basically all it is but it's a great way to organize your PDFs in a way and I kinda like it for that it's made by Adobe it is free for Windows and Macs so go ahead and download that. It is very lightweight as long as you have a Adobe Flash should work fine. There's no issues there. Okay now the second thing and last thing I'll show you in this screencast is what could be an iPad killer. And not necessarily killer but a nice 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 thing for a touch device to have and that's not Windows. I love Windows but it's not Windows. So, I'm gonna launch it here. It's called a Ubuntu Netbook Edition. Look at that, a screensaver. Wouldn't you like to see a touch, touch screen with a screensaver like the Matrix? I mean, come on. And then just touch it, and then it goes to here. Okay. Now this is made for a netbook, but you'll see what I mean when 
I go into the system. So if I want to scroll, and this would work well on a touch screen, I just basically scroll up with my mouse and then I can it's, it's scrolling down but I'm scrolling up with my mouse and that's a touch screen type of thing to do as well and if I want to scroll up I just move my mouse and drag it up see that's cool and to me this is really organized in a way that could be easily done as a touch screen I mean you just press the button and it's there you press it and you have the application you can also add applications to your favorites and as you can see it's pretty fast and what's interesting is I am downloading files to my expansion drive which is a 1.5 terabyte drive NCFS and I have it here running an operating system so in fact it's running pretty fast I am quite impressed with the speed however if I was doing this directly on my Mac it probably would be faster so I'm warning you now when I launch a program like Firefox it's not going to be as fast but as you can see it's definitely doable and I can get flash by the way versus the iPad you can't get flash however I'm not a iPad killer in fact I kinda want one or disser I should say because I've actually used them before they're really fast you press an application just like there but you can run multiple applications on this as you can see I am running office open office while being able to navigate my way through my programs also launch that go back to my main screen it's also launch VLC go back to my main screen as you can see it pretty much launches stuff really fast not this this wouldn't be that fast but hey it works it definitely is fast enough for me I mean for a touchpad interface put one gigahertz processor in there and make a touch I would say this would work really really well you can view the time and it pretty much shuts down really really quickly there's a lock screen. So I definitely think it's worth putting on a touch screen, that's just me. But I'm interested in what you guys have to say about this. Personally, I think this was designed for a touch screen, considering how you navigate around. And for any home user who has a netbook, I would recommend it. You can download a live CD version, a live USB version and try it out but it's definitely worth the install if you just view your web go on your email want to play a little bit of games do some graphic editing it's perfect for that and I would definitely say you can get more programs and although it's not the easiest way to get them and that's where they should start designing more features all you really have to do is go into Ubuntu Software Center which I will add to my favorites and then just it launches up you get the application you want this is a little bit slower on here but consider what I'm doing I'm running multiple applications at once and it's definitely worth it you can get plenty for free I mean this is what will drive people free applications I mean come on who doesn't want free so you can use it as ebook reader you can do it whatever you want with it and I definitely think for something like this you'd want to you can change the background this is not the only background like I've I think I showed you or not let's see where but see maneuvering I think they should organize it a little bit better scroll down go into preferences whoops go into appearance personally I like the black and white it goes well with it go into background this looks good too so hit close and as you can see anything looks good on this and it would look beautiful beautiful on a touch screen I that's just my opinion if anybody else wants to say it doesn't look good or have 
any other opinions on this matter, I definitely recommend commenting, subscribing, or rating. So thank you guys for watching, and remember, I'm not a fanboy of Linux, Macs, or PCs. I just use them all. Personally, I like all operating systems, but that's just me. Some people are fanboys. I'm just a computer fanboy. So thank you guys for watching, and I will be definitely making more videos.